Hello everyone and welcome back to Wildlife Park 2 and we are here in Germany where we've got our unicorn forest growing right now and it's currently got a whole bunch of butterflies which are enduring a blizzard pretty well. I'm actually very surprised to see how well the butterflies are taking everything and we have quite a few deer and the deer are not very happy with me right now because it has been raining so much and the deer aren't really into that but hopefully they'll be doing well enough that in a little while they may be uh oh I would like to mate now they would be inclined to have babies that is what I was hoping for so it does look like the deer are going to start looking around for some mates there's only two males so they have two males to pick from we have five female deer and we're just gonna have to sit back and wait and see if we get even more baby deer showing up because sure enough unicorn number one is pregnant and she is going to have her baby in another 328 days well 29 I thought it was gonna change to 28 before I finished saying that but I'm very excited and I have found out you guys that we can actually rename the unicorns so at some point I'm going to give them some proper names but for now I think I'm just gonna call her hmm moon mist I'm just gonna go with misty we'll just go with mist for right now and then I'll rename her later I'm not really sure what to name the male unicorn maybe knight I'm gonna name him knight so we'll name him knight and her mist and yeah now I know how to name the animals so it's gonna be really fun when she has the baby unicorn full that's gonna be awesome hopefully our guest will enjoy it too but speaking of our guest enjoying everything they're kind of not enjoying life right now because they're lacking even the most basic amenities I don't even think they can reach these chairs to sit on them yet so there's literally nothing for them to do and even though we have this big beautiful park I mean look at this you can watch unicorns jump all day long which I think would be very very exciting we're not really ending up with a lot of people coming to visit our zoo probably because it's cold and there's no protection there's nowhere to use the restroom there's no hot coffee so let's see what she wants wow now I'm really hungry I want to pet these cute animals no ma'am don't you know there's like strict rules on who's allowed to touch a unicorn and then let's see some more decoration would be great and there's nothing to drink here all right so we need to take care of a few Few things I guess like there being no food and no water is sort of a big deal Ooh, in a donation booth well I'll, I'll put down some food and water first and then we'll talk shop all right let's try putting down a bench maybe that'll help out so we'll put down like a couple benches um, and we'll just see if that helps out a little bit so ah, it's really hard to like turn things I don't know how to move things still I know there's a way I just forget every time so let me try. Do I really want to put a bench right here? Go down. Oh my gosh. There we go. Huh. All right. So we'll just kind of throw a bench down right there. And then let's see what we can do to feed everybody. There's a photo booth. Here's a restroom. We'll put the restroom all the way at the back here, but we will make it available to them. I'll even surround it with some trees so that it's sort of tucked away a little bit. In fact, let's make sure we put down the right kind of tree. American Beach. They seem to do the best over here. Because I forgot last time and remembered last time that actually these trees are very, very fussy. Uh, all the plants in this game are very fussy because they want to be taken care of. And so there we go. We'll put down some American beaches. And so if you don't put the plants down in uh, or the right kind of plants down, then they'll get very upset. Oh my gosh, everybody is crowding into the bathroom. I guess that was well timed. And then we'll like put down a live oak on this side. There we go. People must enjoy having a little bit of privacy. Well, come on, you guys. What is this nonsense about? You know, there's two stalls there. You're creepy, sir. You're creepy. All right. Let's see. What else should I put down? Maybe some more live oaks here and there? Probably that would be okay. Like, there you go. You can sit under a nice live oak. So we'll put down, yeah, a few live oaks and we'll sort of decorate with the trees in a little bit. But let's put down some actual food and water spots since I'm kind of waiting for spring to arrive before we add more animals into our park. And I'll sort of speed it up just a little bit. Barbecue stall, a ship bar, beach bar, snack booth, milk bar. Oh my gosh, a horse museum. What? Manor house to rest in. What is this nonsense? A uh, souvenir chest, ice cream shop, beverage booth, souvenir shop. Hmm, what do we want to put down? There's a lot of places, but it doesn't look like, is there a park hotel? A tent? They could have a tent? Stud farm entrance? What on earth are we getting into over here? Nautilus station. 
Let's see, fishing huts, oh my gosh, amphibian houses, diving cages, aquariums, aviaries, terrariums. I'm kind of blown away. I didn't know, botanical garden, <gasps> yes, I want a botanical garden. Oh my gosh, mm, where should we put it? I want a botanical garden, that sounds amazing. Where should we put it though? I feel like it should go kind of at the back back here and then people can walk past it on their way to the other exhibits. So I'm gonna put a botanical garden right here. Are you kidding me? That's amazing, yes. And then we'll put down some of the, the pathways so people can get to it and I'll surround both sides with some lovely, lovely, there we go. I'll surround both sides with some lovely plants in just a minute here. So I'll have to come back and like put down a bunch of plants and make this look really nice. It's kind of sad right now. And we'll put down paths to lead to other exhibits. All right, but food, food, that's right. I need to feed these people. <laughs> I'm not much inclined because there's just so many other fun things to look at. Um, I guess we could have like, just a snack booth or maybe okay i don't that's a really i was gonna say if it isn't too meaty i don't think that unicorns are going to appreciate having like a really really meaty spot right next to their place where's something else where people can can eat um just the ice cream shop beverage booth snack booth there's not really a lot of choices this actually honestly it makes me excited actually i wonder if the mermaid would like having a shrimp bar next to her this makes me excited for planet coaster to come out how many of you guys are excited for planet coaster <gasps> wow there's even a jungle gym i think planet coaster is going to be pretty awesome and i think if you guys are interested we definitely will have to dive into that and try it out oh there's a petting pen so we can have like a little donkey be our, our little petting guy oh we might have to consider that and there's a lookout station Let's just go with your normal snack booth because there's only like two to pick from anyway. We'll go with how about a milk bar and a snack booth. So we'll put the milk bar right here and the snack booth right here. And then we'll go ahead and put a little path wrapping around right here. Oh, look at that. Instantly staffed. Very nice. And then I guess we can do this. Man, it rains a lot in Germany apparently. Because it's raining once more and we'll put down some waste bins so that people will have plenty of places to leave their waste and they Hopefully won't get into any trouble soda. Oh, we could have had soda machines didn't know that interesting I wonder because you can put down a picnic table if you can put down like a spot corn feeder for the guests Maybe haha <laughs> if you could put down like uh, grilling spots. Oh my gosh. He's hungry. Did you see him run? Oh, yeah We have it fast forwarded, but did you see that man? Just zoom zoom. He was running right over there We're gonna need a bin man now actually to like clean up after all this nonsense So I'll go ahead and put like the bin man back here. Who else might we start needing? I don't think we need a greenhouse for the plants Pretty sure we can just keep buying our own. Um, it would be kind of interesting to have a researcher because we do have the genetic little hotspot piles, but I think we'll just leave those alone. Mr. Bin Man, do you need like a path or something like that? Oh, what's this? <gasps> Ooh, I totally forgot about the decorations. Oh man, cave drawings, feed room. Oh, that's so cool. So you can just like see the feed. That is so interesting. Bear sculptures. I need something really, oh, daisy beds. What, there's flowers over here. That's so cool. Chinese shrines, sandstone rock formations, an anchor and a globe. There's a few interesting things here. But yeah, if you guys are really interested in like the park building aspect of things too, then we really could kind of look into, um, well, definitely, I'm thinking definitely look into Planet Coaster because everything I see about it just looks absolutely phenomenal. So I think I'd enjoy it. So we'll probably look into that too. It's going to be a very busy month next month. <laughs> Do you guys realize how much is going down? We have Pokemon Sun and Moon. We have the Sims 4 City Living. We've got, I think Meadow is going to be out. If it didn't come out already, it's about to to be out um yeah a lot going on a lot 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 going on so let's see nothing there's a milk bar right here uh shopping anywhere more decoration don't you want the milk bar are you gonna come over for the milk bar what are you doing did she just did she just use that booth to relieve herself <gasps> i am shocked ma'am all right, I'm gonna go ahead and sell this because it doesn't look like the milk bar is wanted at all um and i guess i'll just put down like uh, oh, there's a souvenir shop. Oh, it's so gaudy. <laughs> All right. Well, you got to do what you got to do, I guess. We'll go ahead and put the souvenir shop right over here, too. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and just put down this beverage booth and maybe they can have like milk as an option at least. All right, and then we'll go ahead over to the souvenir shop right down here. There, so now hopefully she's getting something. Look, it's instantly staffed. Some more decoration would be great. Well, I'm glad she's pleased with the fact that we have the unicorns at least. It doesn't seem like she's fussing about too much. Oh, can I not see what she bought? I really want to see what she bought. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> All right, so everybody wants more decoration. Otherwise, they're kind of pleased with a few things. So there's treasure chest, a panda sculpture. Okay. All right, I'll take your word on it. A floodlight. What else do we have over here? There's the lights. There's a well. That actually sounds kind of pretty. So we can like put the well over here. That's lovely. And what else do we have? But yeah, I'm really excited about Planet Coaster. And I would love to hear if you guys are looking forward to that too. Or if you're really like, oh, that would be something so cool to see. Because I think it'd be amazing. A pavilion. Always a nice thing. We could kind of put a pavilion maybe over by where we're going to have the mermaid. This is a fake mermaid. We're going to have a real mermaid. It's going to be amazing. An ice sculpture, huh? And chess figures. I kind of want to pretend like the ice sculpture isn't an ice sculpture. It's actually like a, a diamond statue because hello unicorns. So we might put that down in just a second. Straw hut for decoration. Uh, oh, fountains. <gasps> Look at that. Let's put down a big fancy fountain. That would be really cool. A squid well. Oh my gosh. That looks kind of awesome. That looks kind of awesome. And a little fish well. And a lighthouse. So yeah, not nearly as many decorations as we have in Zoo Tycoon 2. But there's a few that I can I can definitely put up with. All right, I'm going to try putting this little guy down here. I'm going to put plants everywhere. It's always such a struggle when they don't let me just stick plants all over the place the way I want to. I'm so spoiled by the off the grid, the off the grid cheat in Zoo Tycoon 2. I am, I am very, very spoiled by it. This is looking nicer though. There we go. I want to pet those cute animals. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. That's not the way we operate. But we might actually have a little kitty or puppy adoption section. We can totally work on that. All right. So now how are our unicorns doing? Mist is doing very well. She's got all sorts of shiny, shiny, glittery stuff around her. And how's her pregnancy coming along? 200 more days before she has a baby. So we'll kind of speed things up. How are our deer? Are our deer having any babies? In fact, can I go ahead... Uh, dear one, a lot of the deer are ready to have more babies. Um, and there's just not enough space to walk around. Well, actually, there's tons of room. You just need to move around a little bit. Are any of the deer expecting? So the first five deer are all females. And no, no, no. It looks like uh, the the males aren't really thinking about it yet. So we don't have any we don't have any babies coming. So the deer are a little bit fussy about it. What is all this? Is this all, is this all poo? Where's my poo scooper? Hello, poo scooper. What do you think you're doing? Hmm? Increase your work area. It's right outside of his zone. Are you kidding me? What about this guy? He should be getting it. Oh, he's, he's coming. He's coming. He's just busy. He's got a lot to work with. All right. So we'll kind of keep an eye on him. Is anybody using this? Like this garden at all? Because I think it's kind of amazing. The guests are a little bit harder to figure out in this game. I'm not going to lie. They're shopping right over here, sir. Nothing to drink. Don't like the weather. Well, that's his own fault. Um, Yeah, we aren't very popular. <laughs> but I can't really do anything about that. So we might just ignore the guest uh, very, very shortly here and just not worry about them anymore. And we might put down... Should I add in? Yeah. I, oh, yes. Congratulations. Deer number three is pregnant. Huzzah. That's wonderful news. But yeah, let's actually see if I can put in... Oh, what if... What if we can have like a bunny petting area? That might be kind of nice. Why are there two types of rabbits? I guess because they're different colors. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and we'll put in a couple rabbits uh, to just run free in the forest. So let's see. Let's see. Run, water, forge. All right. They should be fine. They should be fine. And maybe they'll have lots of babies and then we can start like a little rabbit breeding area or a little rabbit petting area, I mean. All right. So why don't not put four bunnies over here and four bunnies over here. And let them roam free. And we'll see what the bunnies do. They're eating the trees. <laughs> like instantly die for the trees. All right. Well, hopefully that'll go well. 
And maybe, maybe some ducks now that I think about it. Why is the female mallard duck green-headed? I'm, I'm side-eyeing that a little bit. That's a little bit questionable. I'm not gonna lie. And then maybe a fox. I kind of think it would be really fun to have like old German herding dogs and maybe sheep. Uh, there's our mountain goats, but you can make it so that people can- Oh, there's the sheep. You can make it so that people can pet the animals too by setting up a little petting area. So maybe we'll make like a little- a little petting meadow in a little bit. Oh, we have so many people! Oh, wow! She's actually got like a bag with her and everything. Oh, it's a grandma! So she's got a little grandma's bag. And actually, now that she comes over here and is like, more decoration would be great. I can't really blame her. There's not really a lot going on over here. So maybe over here will stick like the wildlife park reception sign. And then I can see how a lot of people aren't even making it all the way to the back of our zoo now that I'm down here and looking at it. And then maybe they can see the daisy beds as soon as they walk in, I guess. The daisy beds are kind of like the picket fence thing. Nothing really blends together, you guys. It all just sorts of clash, like it all sorts of like clashes with it itself. I'm not really, not really sure. Oh, and I think pavilions actually provide room for people to get out of the rain, if I remember correctly now. So we've got a few grandmas coming in. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put down like a few pavilions and the next time it rains, let's see if everybody just scatters like chickens into the pavilion. So we'll do that. Maybe I'll put another gigantic fountain up front. That sounds like a good idea. So I'll put another gigantic fountain over here. <laughs> and then we'll just sort of start filling the area in with some flowers. Because I may not plan on sticking with this park in particular for forever, but we're going to do our best. We have a reputation as zoo builders to uphold. So let's go ahead and fill this in. And then we'll check in on our unicorn in just a second and make sure that it is happy and potentially having babies soon. There we go. See, she's checking this out. Plus, this is kind of nice to jump into something that we normally don't look at to get ideas. I love collecting ideas for our various series. Okay, now it's raining. Are they going to come into the pavilion? <gasps> they are! Look at them! Scattering like chickens straight for the pavilion. So I'll remember that. We'll make a little path over to the pavilion. There you go, everybody. There you go. I'm even putting down... Oh, see, she's got... She was like... She saw everybody else coming to the pavilion at the entrance. And she's like, no, I want my own pavilion. So she ran over here. Oh, there was a grandma in there with her. Okay, well, she and the grandma shared the pavilion for a minute. I can go ahead and put these down. And I kind of want him to spend more money. How do I get him to spend more money? I guess we could have a horse museum. Should we put down a horse museum somewhere? I guess. What is inside this thing? What is this? <laughs> Let's put down a horse museum somewhere. Like maybe over here. And people can like learn history about the the way the unicorn was discovered again or something like that. So let's go ahead and tuck this right here. And then people can go inside. I want to see if people actually go like into these things. And we'll have another little sign that can explain like you are about to enter the horse museum. And we can tell you about when the unicorns were rediscovered just recently. So we'll let people go ahead and go inside of there. The, 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 the decorations are just... Oh, look, you can even do a little saddle rack. Well, I guess I can go ahead. Well, why not? Uh, I guess we'll just go all out. <laughs> The decorations just don't blend together very well. Um, and I'm not trying to sound super duper critical. It's just interesting to compare like the same premise and the way that so many different things execute it. So that's why I'm kind of excited, like I said, about Planet Coaster coming out because that looks gorgeous. If you guys haven't seen Planet Coaster yet, you definitely need to just take a glimpse at it and let me know what you guys think because I'm excited. All right, so this is looking much, much better though. We've made a lot of progress with adding in some decorations and I will say it is very fun to see how quickly everything comes together. All right, deer number three is pregnant and that's the only news we've gotten so far. <laughs> it is fun to see how quickly everything kind of pulls together. Are you guys leaving already? 
there's nothing to drink, shopping, oh man, all right. So we'll have to try to entice people back a little faster. Did I block them off from going in any further? Is that, no, they can go in further if they want to. So we'll have to see if we can entice people to come in. So I'm thinking next time we'll try building a little petting area. I'm thinking maybe some little West Highland Terriers that you could pet or maybe some, some sheep dog next to some pens full of sheep would be good. And then I kind of want to work on putting in the dragons back here and then maybe put in a mermaid over here because I think having a mermaid inside of our lake would be amazing. And I would really like to see what she would be like in there and maybe some chickens i do like chickens oh and then we'll have to see how our deer are doing inside on oh, the bunnies we'll have to see how the deer and the bunnies are doing inside of our park too and oh my gosh the deer are like pooping everywhere that is that is keeping that man busy at least i don't have to scoop that nope 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 all right so we're getting there you guys and we'll have to see how the babies turn out on our on our unicorns and that like i keep saying that's making me excited about potentially in fact i know i'm going to I'm doing a Sims 3 unicorn challenge so that we can have lots and lots of different kinds of unicorn babies. And I have a vague idea of how we'll make that work in my head too. So, all right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.